Hello, Country Side Church family. It is great to be with you today, uh, just for a few minutes in the middle of your day, whenever you're watching this, whatever time in the week, uh, to take some time, take a moment, and pray specifically this week for God's wisdom and discernment for our church in this time of leadership transition with Paul's retirement. Um, we are grateful, so grateful for almost 30 years of uh, God's work in, under Paul's leadership. Uh, there has been uh, so much growth in people's lives. People, so many people have come to faith in Christ. We've, uh, we've been a light in this community, and we want to see that continue as we go forward. And uh, But we don't know what the future is going to look like uh, for us. We're trying to sort that out, and that's why we need to spend time asking God to give us clear direction as to how to best go about doing that. Biblical wisdom is defined in many ways uh, in the Bible and by Bible scholars and theologians. And uh, one definition of biblical wisdom that I think is really pertinent for our situation is, is defined this way. Wisdom is the means by which we both discern and carry out God's will. It's the means by which we both carry out, sorry, discern and carry out God's will. So that is what we're looking for. We're looking for the, the, the ability to know uh, what God would have us do in this next venture, this next season of our life together as a congregation, and how to carry that out, uh, to know his will for our church. There are things that we clearly know that are God's will. For example, we know that for the local church, it is his will for us to proclaim the gospel and to make disciples. Uh, that we know. But how we go about doing that best in our particular context can uh, involve a variety of things. And so wisdom is just the ability to know what is the right thing for us, for our time, and for our congregation. So that's what we're seeking. That's what we want. And as we pray for that today, I'd just like to remind us of what we heard this past Sunday uh, from Lynette's sermon from chapter 3, the end of chapter 3, James defines for us kind of the characteristics, the marks of God's wisdom, wisdom that is from heaven. He says it's first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy, good fruit, impartial, and sincere. This is not an exhaustive list of the characteristics of wisdom, but it, there are certainly marks that we should be looking for as we Pray for and ask God, who wants to give wisdom generously if we humbly ask for it. We also learn that from our series in James. So let's now go to our generous God, who wants to give wisdom and discernment to us. Heavenly Father, we are just so grateful that when we humbly seek you for your wisdom, you generously desire to give it to us. And so that is what we want, Father. We want so much to do what you want us to do and to know how to carry it out. And so we ask you for that, Father. You are such a good and generous God. You, you want to bless your children, your church, uh, with your wisdom. And so we recognize that uh, we, we don't have it, naturally. We need you to grant it. And so we seek you for it. Um, for this season especially, Father, that we are entering into now with this leadership transition. Uh, we so look forward to, Father, how you will generously give that wisdom to us, to our leadership team, to our staff, uh, to our members as we welcome them to uh, participate, to give input on how we should go forward as a congregation. Again, we're thankful, Father, for the way you have worked in the life of this church under Paul's leadership, and uh, we pray for your blessing upon him and Chris uh, as they venture into their next season of life and ministry. 
And we trust, Father, that you will guide us all as we seek your face. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to be with me to pray, and I just want to con and encourage you to continue praying for wisdom and discernment for the life of this church as we go forward. God bless you. Thanks for being with us. With me.